What's up guys? Uh, I decided today to make a video on this game. It's the free to play game on, uh, on Epic Games. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I already beat the game, so now there's nothing else to do, but uh, I realized that on YouTube there's no like end game builds on the game because I guess just no like big YouTuber played it or, or something, I don't know. So this video is basically like for newer players to have like a, a goal, like something that they can work up to end game wise. Yeah, so this specific build is a uh, electricity build. Um and you can start this build as early like okay this is the only item you need this item you get from the bog it's from one of the quests i forgot which quest it was but it's one of like the side quest and once you get this item that's this this that's basically when you can start your build this item summons three lightning balls right that do 70 it just you read it 70 percent of your dps right now Basically what it does is for your next three hits, you'll 100% hit an electricity hit. Um, this means that on top of your regular hit, you'll be hitting electricity. So you'll be hitting 170% damage on your next melee hit, not including critical strike. Right. So let me go over the gadgets real quick and the trinkets. So the gadgets, this one you get from the bog. This one you get from the bog as well. Uh, this one it shoots electricity in like a I don't even know what to call that like a, a triangle spinning thing, like a star sort of. Um, that's it's really strong. This is a really strong thing, and it also scales with the electric power uh, buffs from like armor. Uh, you get this one from the boss in the savannah, which is the first area in the game. Uh, makes you invincible for five seconds. And this one you get from the like second to last boss in the game. Uh, this one you won't necessarily get until the last area. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you can use as a replacement, you can use... Uh, this trinket or, or this ability what is it? this one right here um, this slows time and this lets you get in get hit get in a lot of hits which is really good right and the reason why this uh, gadget is really overpowered is because of my trinkets so the trinket, this one, um, increases your critical strike chance by 10%. You get this one in the savanna. Uh, this one, you get this one from the bog, increases your critical strike damage by 25%. Uh, this one's obviously overpowered because if you land critical strikes, which you will, I'll show you why, uh, you'll be doing 25% extra damage. This trinket I never knew about. I literally never knew about this trinket. This trinket is what's really overpowered and it combos a thousand percent with the chronosphere because when you're in slow mode you can hit like way more times than you're supposed to and that means you get way more critical hits uh, and, and that means all your skills will come back faster and you can just keep your DPS at its highest because you have to wait for this ability to come back to hit like really strong and then this one just boosts your electricity damage by 30%. You get this one in the bog and you get this one in the end game. If you want to, instead of using this one, you can obviously use this one. I think this one you get from the bog as well. And then you could just later on upgrade to that one. Uh, like the one I'm using right now. This one's from the final area. So, armor. Obviously put everything in electric power. This build is a glass cannon build. Glass cannon means you have the you have super low HP or you have super low defense, but you have the highest damage in the game, right? So you get one shot, but you can one shot enemies. So having electric power and everything is a no brainer. Uh, the way you re-roll these items, right, is through this thingy and. 
uh, just make sure you get a lot of crystals. Um, and the first area, the crystals respawn after six hours in the same exact location. So if you put down a sign where a, like the, the mine, like the actual crystal that you mine out, if you put a sign there and you go back to there in six hours, it will be there. So just make sure when you're playing through the game the first time or like in the first world, make sure to put signs everywhere of where the, the juice crystals are. So you could just don't have to worry about like getting juice crystals ever again. Um, and yeah, so early game, as you can see, obviously this is the best weapon in the game. Uh, but what I want you to realize is the crit, right? So I put 70% critical strike chance. The berserk that's only there because this is a specific legendary weapon, right? Legendary weapons are like th that you can make have extra perks i guess you can say so if i wanted to i can get that critical strike chance up to 80 percent which will almost get me a hundred percent critical strike chance which is insane but there's no need for it right so um when you first play and you first get to bog and you first start making this build once you get the the juice thingy you want to get your like you don't really need the electricity power like because the enemies at that area don't have a lot of hp so what you really want is you always want your weapon to have at least in the blue rarity and put it all into crit because the crit is the most important thing crit doubles your damage right now since you're hitting two times every single attack you're hitting both with your physical attack and your electricity attack you're, you'll be hitting double on both of those attacks separately if they both crit. So you'll be hitting, instead of 100% physical damage, you'll be hitting 200% uh, physical damage. And instead of hitting 70% uh, electricity damage, you'll be hitting 140% electricity damage. Not including if you have any armor with electricity power. So right now with my electricity power, it's, it's insane. 130%, 100%, and 100%. So I have 300, like 40% around there. Uh, extra electricity power. Also, the reason why I chose electricity is mainly because of this item, right? The the ball melee attack, 100% melee attack, or 100% electricity attack a gadget. But also, there is no enemy in the game that has a hundred percent electricity resistance as you can see the only one that's even close to a hundred percent is gallum or galanti right galanti has 80 percent right now your basic attack will always be critting so since it has 0% toughness, you'll literally just kill it with your melee attack. Even though you're not obviously going to be hitting as hard as you do with your electricity, you'll still be able to kill these enemies. Just it'll, it'll be like an actual fight, unlike every other enemy in the game. The only enemy that can have 100% electricity resistance is a boss. There's one boss called the EOM, I think, and it's in the third area. The third to la like the last area and that boss has a hundred percent um hundred percent electricity resistance now that boss i'm telling you right now that boss is easy as hell but that is the only boss that has a hundred percent electricity resistance so let me show you the potential damage output i'm going to show you on the damage output on um regular mobs so this one 187,000 200,000 they literally can't do anything right so if we go th keep in mind those enemies had um, 
0% electricity resistance. So this one has, I think, 50% electricity resistance. If I remember correctly. Yeah. This one is 50%. Now... Hundred ten. If we can find a mega buff version of it. Okay. And that's with the melee, right? Now we go to this which has fifty percent electricity vulnerability. I'm not even gonna attack it with my melee ability. I'm just gonna walk past it with the thunderstorm. Look at that. Like So strong, and the the cooldown on these, on like this uh specific thing, is so low that you could just keep on spamming. It's actually insane. Same with this ability. Like this ability has a strong a, a long cool or longer cooldown, but this one's just so like unfair. That's why it's like the end game version of it. Yeah. Um. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna show you the final boss and the second to last boss that gives you the thunder cult, which is this item right here. And then, uh, yeah, I hope you guys try making this build. This build is so fun. Like, I'm telling you, I mean, just look. So, this is the boss that you fight uh, for the Thunder Call. As you can see, I use the immunity to get close, and this is uh, before I I didn't know the 15% uh, item that like, reduces your cooldown existed, so I was using the shifter. Look at that damage. This boss is literally nothing. Plus the pet is just like so much damage. Boom, boom. So fast. Uh, next is Hugo Diku, which is the final boss in the game. This is my reaction to I guess I'm just gonna have the speed run for a Yeah. Because. Look at that damage. I have HP already. Can't even attack him while he's. You can see every single time I get the invincibility buff, the amount of burst damage I do is like crazy. He doesn't stop. The laser is fucking him. Hello, you're dead. Hello, you're dead. Hello? Uh, 
That's the build I've been using to play this game. I've been playing this game on challenge difficulty, which is the difficulty right below, or right, yeah, right below the hardest difficulty. And uh, yeah, hope you guys use it. And <laughs> it's really fun, telling you.